Hello everyone, my name is Kunal and welcome to our channel Optometry Goals. So our today's topic is atropine and its mode of action. So let's start. What is atropine? Atropine is a cholinergic antagonist which works by binding to muscarinic receptors and blocking the action of acetylcholine in various parts of the body. So as we know, the cholinergic antagonists are the type of drugs which blocks the muscarinic and nicotinic receptors and inhibit the acetylcholine to perform its function. So as we are discussing about atropine, when it is given orally, intravenously or topically, it performs four primary functions in the four parts of the body. So in the eye, it results in cycloplegia which means lens in the eye loses its ability to focus and accommodation is relaxed which could be used for great refraction. It also results in midriasis which means it also dilates the pupil. In gastrointestinal tract it binds to M3 receptors and results in decreased gastrointestinal motility due to which it, it is also used in irritable bowel syndrome. And in the heart, it blocks M2 receptors on SA node, which also result in decreased heart rate. It is also used before dental surgeries to decrease the secretion of saliva in the mouth. So, now we will discuss about the mode of action of atropine when it is applied topically. So, when the atropine is applied topically, it binds to the muscarinic receptors in the circular pupillary sphincter muscles. These are the muscles which constrict the pupil. It blocks the acetylcholine binding sites which are the muscarinic receptors. Due to which pupillary sphincter muscle does not get any innervation from short ciliary nerve and gets paralyzed. Which allows the iris dilator muscle to dilate and the midriasis is achieved. Atropin is the strongest cyclobasic which is a slow acting but a very long lasting drug. Its onset of adequate cycloplegic effect is 36 hours. It means it would take almost 1.5 days for atropine to fully show its cycloplegic effect. And the cycloplegic effects last for 7 to 10 days. And midriatic lasts for 10 to 14 days. Tonus allowance of atropine is minus 1 diopter. For any of you who does not know about tonus allowance, it is the cycloplegic effect of any drug on a person refractive error. And in case of atropine, it is minus 1 diopter. Atropine has many uses, but there are the 5 primary uses for it. It is used in children refraction of age group, birth to 5 years, because the children are having very high accommodative power and atropine is the strongest cycloplegic drug which is best to relax the accommodation in children. As it also has a strong midriatic effect, it is also used in uveitis to prevent posterior or anterior synache. One of the main use of atropine is in amblyopia therapy. It is used for children of age group 3 to 12 years having moderate amblyopia. In some studies, it has even been proven that it gives better result than the occlusion therapy. This topic deserves a single independent video. So if you want to know about the use of atropine in amblyopia therapy in detail, do tell us in comments. Due to its midriatic effect, it can also be used for viewing fundus by ophthalmoscopy, fundus camera and OCT. In recent studies, atropine is used for treating the high myopia and now it has become the first choice of drug for patients with high, high myopia. Recent clinical trials also demonstrated that low dose atropine such as 0.01% resulted in retardation of myopia progression with less side effect comparing to high doses. Atropine has been concluded as the most effective therapy for myopia control. Atropine sulfate 
solution and ointment for topical use comes in different concentration as 0.01%, 0.02%, 1%, etc. and is commercially sold by many brands like Alcon, Bosch & Lomb, Pexa, etc. Side effect of atropine includes first photophobia which is the result of dilation of pupil due to which more light coming into the eye and it bleaches the retina which causes photophobia. Second is nausea. Third, increased IOP. It sometimes happens because during dilation of pupil it could have resulted in narrowing of interior chamber angle and hence increased IOP. Fourth is blood vision. Vision could have got blood due to the relaxation of accommodation which is the action of topical atropine. Fifth is irregular heartbeat. As it acts on M2 receptors on SA node in heart, it sometimes causes irregular heartbeat if not taken properly. Sixth is overdose of atropine. Overdose of atropine is very dangerous and it is treated with its antidote named physostigma. So, it was all for today. Thank you for listening. Like, subscribe and share our channel. Stay tuned for more updates.